Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. It's getting cold outside and that means it's whoop season. This is, oh man, I, I love flying my Tiny Hawk. I really do. Uh, Had our first race with my local multi-GP chapter and everybody's like, oh man, my batteries are charged from the last time we flew, which was last spring. And it's been a while. Or I don't know what to do to take care of my 1S batteries. Do I just fly them all till they're dead? Or how do I storage charge them? Because... You know, well, let's face it, all our 1S chargers are pretty much charged, and that's all they do. But let's say you have something like this. This says it'll do 1S. How do you make this work? But, you know, there's plenty of balance boards out there, so, you know, let's go ahead and throw these on a balance board. You know, I mean, these are all, I mean, they're all pretty much the same voltage. I, I checked them earlier. They're about 3.7, 3.8-ish. You know, they're close enough. Well, let's go ahead and throw these on a balance board, you know. So we got my balance board. Let's get our charger over here. We'll plug in our XT60. That's weird. It's not reading any voltage. Let's go ahead and plug in the balance board lead. Okay, so we got 3.8 volts. So let's go ahead and set it up. Charge lithium high volt. Uh, yeah, let's do an amp 1S. Here we go. Uh, yep, this is a HV pack. It's not supported. What the heck? Because the way battery chargers work for multi-cell packs is they pump out max pack voltage. I mean, they ramp it up and down, whatever, out of the XT60, and it goes into your battery. Through the balance lead, it discharges each cell to keep them balanced. So power's going in, power's going out. That's why something like this only discharges at like 1.2 amps. It's not a lot. It can't discharge a ton of power. Unlike, you know, dedicated battery dischargers. So how do we make this work? Well, you have a couple different options. First one is you can just take an XT60 and solder a, a 1S connector to it. You could do that. And that should work. Yep, without a balance connector. Yeah, and that'll work just fine. But that's, you know, that's one pack at a time. Who wants to do that? Yeah, 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 shut up. But I want to use this balance board. I mean, this balance board says it's a 1 to 3S balance board. Well, here's how you do it. You're going to need an old 2S uh, battery lead out of, or, or 1S, one or the other. I mean, whatever you got laying around. But I, I got a 2S, so I'll, I'll use this one. A, uh, at least for this board, I need a XT30 connector because that's what these are. And what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. And we're going to come up with... So what this is doing is I'm taking, so every one of these pins, every one of these pins here is connected. These are all connected. All of these pins are connected. All of these pins are connected. And all of these are pins are connected on both sides of the boards and they come out your balance lead on your board. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little 2S lead that I made up, I'm going to plug it into here, making sure that the way my 1S pack connects is in line with this. So this will be ground. All these first pins on both sides, these will all be ground. And this next one will be voltage. So whatever my pack voltage is. I'm going to take that and I'm going to plug this into my XT30 port right there. So now when I connect my 1S LiPo, when I connect my 1S LiPo, I now have, I have 1S voltage on these two wires here. And I have my voltage on here. So now when I plug in my battery charger, look at that. It's reading my pack voltage. And if I plug in my balance light lead, I can now... Charge, discharge, balance... Well, really, there is no balancing. Balancing is happening once you plug in each pack to the board. But this is how you do this. And this is really simple, simple uh, fix to make these balance boards work. So all the same rules still apply for balance charging. Just about anything, even 1S packs. You know, you want them to be all basically within about a millivolt of each other. And let's say I had like eight or nine fully charged packs and I don't have time to go burn them down with my tiny hawk. I'll just put them all on here. 
hook it up to my charger, and just do storage. You got to make sure that uh, you do select high volt if you're using high volt packs because if it's over the um, 4.2 volts, it's going to say there's something wrong and it's going to it's going to stop. Current rating, the max current rating of this thing is 1.2 amps, so you could crank it up anything above that, it's not going to make a difference. Battery type is high volt, so I really like about these uh, Hoda and the Hobbymate chargers is if you have it set at high volt, it'll ask each time, just in case you do something stupid. And there it goes, it's going to go through and discharge them down to whatever my set voltage was. That's it, pretty simple. Uh, but... Let's say you have a, a lead like this. All you gotta do is push down these little tabs and you can move it over to whatever spot you need. And then uh, I just, you know, uh, I'll fit right in there. But anyways, that that's it. Pretty simple little little trick. Uh, I I hope I didn't lose anybody here. This is pretty, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit in advanced thinking. If you're not super familiar with how electricity works and how the, the balance boards work, if you're one of those people who just doesn't want to or can't follow directions, please, before you do this, delete your browser history. That way when you burn your house down, they can't track it back to me. I'm giving you this, this advice. But if you have any questions on how to do this, please, please uh, put, the, put it down in the comment box below. I'll gladly help you out. I'm glad to walk you through how to do this. And hey, you know what? Tell you what, I've got one of these. I got an extra one. If you want one, go ahead and put it down in the, just, Say, hey, I want one of these down in the comments below. Uh, go ahead and comment as much as you want. Uh, there's plenty of ways to select uh, a commenter based off of just who you are versus how many times you've commented. So, yeah, if you want one of these, go ahead and put it down there. I'll, I'll throw it in an envelope and I'll send it to you. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking us out. I hope this uh, helps you guys preserve the quality of your batteries. I know they're one little 1S batteries. They're pretty cheap and... Well, most of us consider these to be pretty much expendable because of how expen how inexpensive they are. But, you know, it, it's really simple. If you can do it this way, I can do six batteries at once. It's pretty easy to take care of them this way. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking us out. And, uh, hey, happy whooping. See you around. Bye. Ah, crap. I didn't get to the 10-minute mark. Oh, shit. What am I going to do? You know what? All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'll build one real quick. Let me throw one on my, my battery power here. Throw, turn on my, uh, my soldering iron. Go ahead and move these pins over real quick. Got to get to that 10-minute mark. I'll throw in a mid-roll ad. Since nobody's on my Patreon... I need to do things the dirty way. Oh, by the way, check out my Patreon page because I do monthly giveaways at all tiers. So if you want to support me for, you know, two bucks a month, 20 bucks a month, 10 bucks a month, five, whatever, I don't care. I'd appreciate it. I do put a lot of time and effort into this stuff, sharing my knowledge. Actually, you know what? I don't put a, a whole lot of time into the videos. Actually, you know, you know, I take that back. I do put a lot of time into the videos. But I probably spend most of my time uh, answering questions and trying to help people out, especially with this FR Sky uh, R9, R9MM, uh, all, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. I, I help people set up the FR Sky systems all the time. And, you know, you would think that if I keep doing that, I would probably just go out and make a video on how to do it. But... Man, FR Sky's making it tough because they haven't stopped. They constantly keep changing stuff. They keep, you know, there's no target to hit with those guys. Which, uh, I mean, it's cool they're innovating and all, but I can't, like, make a definitive, like, hey, here's how you do this video. Which I really wish I could. The whole FR Sky TBS thing, that's kind of what, what got me into this. Doing a YouTube thing here. little quick tip if you guys are ever curious. you got heat shrink that's a little too tight or you want a really tight fit on your heat shrink, go ahead and put on a pair of pliers like that. Just give them a little stretchy stretch. And...
There we go. Let's go ahead and sit that sucker down. There you go. One cheater lead right there. Coming at you. Should fit right on meow, just like this old one here. There you go. Okay. Yeah, if you want this, go ahead and comment down below. And if, you know, I mean, in your comments, say, hey, I want one of these. Because if someone asks a question, I don't want to put them in the drawing if they don't really want it. So if you want it, put in the uh, put in the comments below. Gimme, gimme. I'm doing this because I'm going to put some text right there. I'm probably going to forget to do that. Yeah, most likely I'm going to forget. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking this out. And, hey, swing on by my Patreon page or my Etsy page if you're curious about my... Uh, laser cut grips for the radios. Those things are super awesome. All right. Thanks for stopping by.